Hello everybody, this is Alls House Gaming and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play XCOM Chimera Squad. In the previous episode, we rescued De uh, Deputy Mayor Parada from an assault from Atlas on City Hall, and have discovered that Atlas have decided to take the remnants of the, our previous adversaries into the fold. Yikes. Uh, and now we know where Atlas is located, and this is our final mission to take them down. Whether or not this episode is going to be the finale, I couldn't tell you. I mean, you would obviously, you guys obviously already know based on the title of the video, but as I record this, I have no clue. And as I decided last episode, this is the team I'm going to go with. Cherub's shields are invaluable for protecting allies. Terminal's, uh... Long-range healing is just too good for when somebody desperately needs some health. A uh, Verge's... Uh, psionic abilities have been very useful. And Axiom's ability to run, do tons of damage, and smash enemies has also been incredibly useful. So, with that... Let's take down Atlas. This is it. We're going to hit Atlas hard and keep hitting until we take them down. Gear up, roll out, and prepare to make a big entrance. Yes, I know multiple agents are idle. There's no point in putting them on an activity. This is the end game. Okay. Huh? Let's see. Cherub has got a plated vest, giving me an extra armor. That'll work. Let's see, a breaching charge, sure. Venom rounds. Yeah, alright. It's the only one we're going to be getting. Nano med kit, sure, just in case. Let's see, Verge has extra padding for HP. Why not? A dragon rounds and a plasma grenade. Yeah. Let's see, motile inducer. Haven't been using that lately. Let's see, flux weave, sure. Dragon rounds, yeah. Yeah, I think we're about as good as we're gonna get. Or projected encounters. And if my memory serves, that seems to be about correct. Sucks that we're not bringing the other members along. Kind of like, oh, somebody went down. Well, you've prepared well. You have good uh, agents. Take them with. Brace for impact. I'm gonna be honest, I'm not sure you would have enough momentum or speed after that turn to be able to ram through a solid concrete wall. But what do I know? Let's see, hard to hit, enemies deal one less damage during breach, helping hand, lasting you through the entrance will receive an extra action point. Okay, Cherub as always is gonna be taking the front, Axiom will go second, then we'll get Terminal and Verge going in. Stay behind me. Okay, got a commando over there. Not worried. Commando, they can go down in one shot. Got a bomber right there. Hitman over there. Bomber right there. And we got mechs. And a hitman right there. I think I'm gonna go for the mechs just because A, they're aggressive, and B, I wanna take them out as soon as possible. Good. Hoping for a little more damage on that. My only hope is max damage from Verge. Yes. The old blueprint showed an empty area just inside the wall. How was I supposed to know it was Shrike's firing range? Truthfully, I haven't been this excited in weeks. Yeah, like I was saying, I was kind of hoping you'd just be taking everyone with you, you know, you gear them up. And then if somebody gets taken out, well, you have an extra agent to replace them rather than just the android. Okay, Verge has his extra turn. 87% chance. 7. I think I'm actually going to go for the commando because, you know, if it hits, it's guaranteed to kill. Hostile. 
Okay, got a commando right there. It's our best chance to hit, and it's only 64%. Yikes. Well, no matter. Got my target. Far less sloppy than me. Uh, let's put one on terminal. I don't know. Just got a feeling she might be targeted. Down. Forty-six percent chance. Not good. I don't think oh, I want to yeah. use my adrenaline research just yet. Oh, let's see if we can't go for a smash on the hitman. Hello, neighbor. <laughs> Missed. No collateral damage. Off the crest. Need me to take a look? Nah, eh, he'll be fine. Uh, terminal, go for this hitman. Alright. Not enough. No, it's never enough. If it was poison, it would be enough for me to not worry about them. But at the same time, I should probably spread the damage around. Containing target. Huh. That's weird, because when I put that on terminal. Oh well, no matter. It worked all the same. And I'm not worried about that hitman anymore, because they're going to be dead from the burning. I can still fight. Thank you, armor. Okay, uh, that... Bombers going up next. Let's stupor Your them. Falls away. Good, they're stunned for the full turn. And you know what? Before the hitman dies, let's get a battle madness on them. No, no, no! Yes, yes, yes. Eh. Okay, Cherub, 67% chance to hit the bomber. Go for it. How's that a lot of play? Hitman I'm not worried about. That hitman I'm not worried about either, because, well, Axiom's right there. That armor's too thick. That hitman's dead. So let's get Axiom moved out here. Make a hole. Alright, go for the bomber. Alright, and they're a goner. Uh, anybody need healing? I mean not really, but I may as well keep Cherub at full health. And just go for the mind flight. Another hostile doubt. Thanks for the breathing room. Yeah, that's everything. I don't think they know you're here. Okay, they know. Get a move on. Well, that's just comedic timing. I'm seeing a lot of activity on the 80th floor. There's an elevator ahead. It should take you right there. Okay. Oh, uh, we got the wall over here. Quick disable. Oh, that's fine. I'll put Cherub there. And... Axiom there. Save the flash bomb. Term mm, excuse me. Put terminal here and verge here. Making a path. Open sesame. Oh. 
don't know why, but Order to Surrender is just not showing up. Ooh, Sorcerer right here. Let's take her out. Yep, guaranteed. There was another aggressive enemy, but that ha ha, but I couldn't get a good look at him. Resonant Dominator. I'm worried about the Dominator, but I want to take out the Necromancer. Or at the very least, leave him wounded, and... You know what? Let's hit the Dominator. That was some Paladin. No worries. Sorcerer in there, too. The elevator needs a key card. One of these Shrike goons must have it on them. There. Grab that key card and head to the 80th floor. Okay. Yeah, so what I need to do, I need to get the key card and need to get everybody in here as quick as I can. There's gonna be reinforcements coming, obviously. This is their headquarters. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Dominator is among the next to go. I can only go after one of them because of that quick disable. Reloaded. Go for the Dominator before he can mind control. Target down. Don't see movement. That was impressive. How much I can do to help Terminal? She's rooted and yeah. I'm sorry. What? Is that gun just for show? Okay, who's up next? Paladin over there. Eh, I'm not too worried about him. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. That resident goes next. I'm going to run and gun with Axiom. So ready for this. Have him run over here. Get the key card. Out of the way. And blast the resonant. That'll do enough damage to kill it with the burning. Mind merge. Oh, that is just a piss poor move on your part. Unless she does the sacrificial thing. In which case, the mind merge doesn't really matter. Unfortunately, Terminal is rooted, so she can't really do anything. Go <sighs> for the Necromancer. Uh, I'm more worried about the Resonant. <sighs> I could go for that, but that would create a poison. Yeah. Uh, poison gas, and well, don't really want that to happen. That's it. You're done. Silence. Uh oh. Well, that's yeah. gonna hurt. That hurts. Ah, uh, flesh wound. Ouch. You okay? Okay, burn. Brain, shouldn't that guy have died at this point? Oh well, it doesn't my matter. My mind over yours. He resisted, but doesn't matter. He'll be dead on his next turn. Need to start moving. Uh, though I may have just set up Verge and Cherub to get hit by a uh, no lance. You can't hide. Yep. This is gonna suck. Took a hit, but I still stand.
much as I'd love to get kinetic shields up. Uh, no, no, no. Let's get kinetic shields up. Now that's protection. Just gotta remember to keep us all split up in a way that prevents null lances. Although they're probably on cooldown by this point. Axiom, let's get you over here. Not worried about that uh, resonant. Go for the sword, sir. Maybe we'll get a critical hit. We'll bring her down enough to kill her. Don't think it was. Definitely not. Okay, terminal's no longer rooted. I need her to start healing. Let's get Verge. And she unfortunately cannot shoot anyone, but I can use cooperation on Axiom. Get another shot on this sorceress. Sorcerer. Even though it should be sorceress, considering there are only females that Hostile have that off role. The board. Nice. I leave you behind. I'm fine. It didn't hit bone. Fine. They think you an appealing target. Keep going after the guy who uh, is incredibly tanky. Next time, aim for my head. And has a chance to just shrug off damage entirely. Uh, Verge, let's just get you moved up. Yeah, because reinforcements are going to be coming soon. Let's just start dashing in. Reducing profile. Axiom, let's go for a smash and see if we can't get you to crush the paladin. Making waves. It's gonna put her directly inside of the uh sorcerer, but I don't have much of a choice. I need to start getting moving. I don't tell me you're Nolan up again. Okay, good. No. Axiom standing in the one spot that Verge can stand in. Alright, no matter. I can get him in here, get him to cover. Got some androids coming in. Uh, whew. Cherub, let's get you moved over okay, here. Okay, I'm moving. Take a shot at the paladin to take out the sorcerer. Hostile's gone. You sure surrendered. Uh, Axiom, let's have you move over here. Get out of the way of uh, well, anybody who wants to get in. And you know what? Provide some Overwatch. I need to do some healing with terminals, though. Let's get her moved over here. Have her use safeguard on herself. Off the crest. That was unpleasant. Okay, Verge, let's get you in here. On the way. You'll make it. 
And that's that. Cherub. Locking Turn. Down. Axiom, you do the same. Terminal. Kill Cherub. Let the high tech spray do its work. And then get in the elevator. Nice thinking. Well, let's hope it doesn't glitch out like it did with the uh, Move progeny it. Cover me. mission. Stick to cover. Okay, man, this is actually progressing a lot quicker than I thought it would. You'll be completely exposed out there. Not completely. I'll be your cover. Alright, nothing to it. Alright, Cherub, you take the front. Axiom, get on there. Terminal. And, uh, Verge Terminal. Get your refresh going, get some healing for yourself, and, uh, Verge. Because I think the last encounter involves us breaching through windows. Like, rappelling down through windows, so we can't actually use any special abilities. So I may as well use the flash bomb. Reaching in. Unless they've changed it from the last time. It's been worse. Grenade out. Two guardians and two adders. At least know that's out there. Okay, who do we got that's aggressive? The adders. But... I don't think I want to use the failing. I think I want to save that for the last encounter. So blast this one. I said blast this one. Blast this one. And we got what? Uh, an acolyte over there. Acolyte over there, a couple of guardians, one of which is alert. Go for the acolyte, hope we get the kill. Good. Okay, and the adder missed anyways, thankfully because it was disoriented. Okay, we got two guardians. Another Acolyte, and an Adder that's going to be dead from the fire, so I'm not too worried about it. I think I want to do... What I want to do is... Hmm, put a Kinetic Shield's Shield on Cherub. Make him a more opportune target. Unfortunately, that Guardian's going to get the... Uh, shielding up. I think. Or not, because he's disoriented. Alright, he's full up, but I want to save that supercharge for the final encounter. Lanced off the armor. Wounded is wounded. Alright, uh, Axiom, I want you to take out the Guardian. Reflection. That's some tough armor. Or at the very we least, we can punch through. weaken him enough that we don't have to worry about him. Fine. It didn't hit bone. God damn I can do? Do I love the fact that, uh... We, uh... Do I love the fact that we just have shrug it off on him? And seriously, it's been triggering a lot more than I thought it would. Alright, take out the Acolyte. Take that. Good. Now... If you think that this is easy, well, let's just say uh, you have no idea what's going on. Because this isn't going to be the end. There's going to be, I think, multiple waves of enemies we got to clear out. Oh, uh, Battle Madness enemies on him. All around you. I just want to get some regen for Verge going. 
Nowhere to run. Exactly the wrong target that I wanted you to go after. Yep. Two waves I gotta get through, and they are not going to be E. Okay, uh, Cherub, I want you over here. And let's try taking out the Guardian. How did that miss? That's what I want to know. Two percent. Yeah, I gotta move in on this. That's what happens when you remove a superior scope. Armor soften the blow. A good effort. Ah, flesh wound. Uh, I was hoping to be able to move in here, get some Overwatches going for the. Uh, Enemies that were going to be showing up, but it doesn't look like that's going to be an option. <laughs> you see that? Basically, just set it up so that they end up hitting a wet, uh, just a of wall surrender. of uh, of bullets. But oh well. Oh boy, and it's a whole bunch of gray phoenix goons. Well, in one project. Rolling. Actually, no, the bombers are considered to be Atlas based. Reinforcements are going to be coming up soon enough, whether we are ready for them or not. Mm, take a flanking shot on the brute. Him. Let's have you start moving up. Make way. And then throw this plasma grenade on the bombers. Plasma out. I'm worried about the Praetorian, but I'm hoping he'll pick Axiom for his dual target. Because that would just be perfect. Yes. Off the crest. Stay with us. Okay, I'm not too worried about that bomber anymore. They'll die from the burning on their next turn. Grenade in play. <laughs> I am worried about that. Okay, Terminal, let's get you moving over here so you're not in the line of fire. Get a cooperation going on Axiom. Axiom can go for a smash on the Praetorian. It's guaranteed to hit, and it gets him moved away from the grenade. Over. Kraken Skulls. Reflection. That's some tough armor. I mean, it was a dodge, but hey, damage is damage. Grenade in play. All right, who are you tossing it to? Urge, but he has a chance to move. Excruciating. And he definitely needs no need that chance complain. to move. I'm in imminent danger. You don't say. Move. Move now. Moving. Quickly. All right, let's get you to Cherub. Who goes next? The Legionnaire. Get a stupor on them. And a little bit of health regen. And here come the reinforcements. Blood on my jacket? Uh, again? Bunch of snakes. 
Now you pay it back. And what looks to be a purifier. Haven't seen one of those guys in a long time, but then again, we did deal with Sacred Coil early on. And now I'm kind of wishing I'd saved the Plasma Grenade. The way those guys are grouped up, ooh, that would have been good. And the bomber's no longer burning. That's not good. Let's see, who do I go for? Let's see, we got the bomber over here. Going next. Axiom's gonna be focused on taking down the Praetorian. Cobra over there, that's also going next. Okay, I say we take our first shot on the bomber, take them out of the action. Got my target. Surgical. And we take our next shot on this cobra. Good chances to hit, but worked with less. Oh man. Axiom. Blast the Praetorian. Just take it out of the fight. Burning's not going to be enough to kill. If it was, then I would have considered going for a smash on something. Hostile kill. Of course, I get the crit now. Restricting target mobility. Still on my feet. Stay focused. Okay, terminal, you need to heal Verge. No Let's arguments. Let's get your insides back inside. Refreshing. Bomber's probably gonna try and blow up, blow up uh, Cherub and Verge. That Cobra, and it's flanked. Gonna take a gamble on this one. Seven damage wasn't enough. But the burning should stop it from using anything like rooting. I'm fine. It didn't hit bone. Mm. Next time, aim for my head. Axiom is not in a good spot. How can you miss such a big target? Don't complain. Root's no longer poison, so I can't rely on that to kill it. Please, keep wasting your effort. I'm fine. It didn't hit bone. Okay, okay. Surprisingly, they did not go after trying to bomb me and Ch uh, Virgin Cherub. Fortunately, I can't get line of sight on Purifier that goes next. I say go for Battle Madness on this Cobra. Maybe it'll go after the Legionnaire. Good. And maybe, just maybe, yeah, I can take it out. Tag the hostile. Purifier's gonna be a problem because, well, Axiom is right there. But if it goes for the spray, it might hit some of its allies. Off the crest. Darn it, no ammo. Reload. Back at it. Let's see, there's a cobra there. 81% chance? Yes, take it. So close. How did you miss that? Okay, Axiom is burning. And he can still use some of his abilities. Can't use Psych Up, which is unfortunate. 
Uh, next up would be that cobra. I think what I need to do is I need to get him out of there. Out of there and then hit preparation. Get rid of that burning. This thing is nearly empty. Eight. Okay, go for a healing on Axiom. He really needs it. He'll be fine. Towards the end of this, I might I might want to try using a uh, a the second wind just to get everybody up to snuff. Ah, oh, this sucks. Cobra's no longer burning, so I can't rely on that to kill it. I'm okay. Just banged up. This is why I keep me around. But that works Closing too. On target. There's no need for this. Okay, good. Axiom's back up to a good point. Uh, Python over there, but I don't think he can make that. Uh, let's see, we got the brood over there. They got an overwatch. Got the python right here. You know what? I think it's time for an Good adrenaline surge. I was hoping to save this for the final encounter, but... Who wants some? Ready for action. Go for the python. Crash in the party. It's oriented and panicked, so not a problem. Hopping over. All right, who are you going after next? Armor soften the blow. Can we find uh, a weak spot? That's fine. I suppose. I'm okay for now. I'm okay. Just banged up. Oh, that's putting it mildly. Okay, Verge. Hit this python Give with a stupor, get it off of Jaren. Yeah, only stunned for one turn. Or one action, I guess you could say. Then go for a battle madness on the brute. Hopefully Unleash they'll hit the purifier. Not gonna lie, that always creeps me out. Or not. Ever. Anyways, HP gets him back up to full health. Ah, uh, flesh wound. Okay. Ah, uh, Cherub. Let's get you into cover. Take a shot on the Cobra. I am hit, but still standing. Yep, that needs stitches. Okay. Uh, Terminal, I want you healing yourself. And I now can no longer move you around because, well, if I do, you're just going to get repoisoned. Uh, no ammo. Okay, okay. Um. Axiom, let's right. hit you with a motile inducer. Yeah. Bomber goes next, but not anymore. Hostile isn't moving. It was the training. 
Let's see. Python that's stunned. There's a Python that's panicked. Brood over here. Oh. Okay. And I guess... Can't really go after the brute because, well, melee stance. You know what? Let's go after this. You're a fire. Uh, not a whole lot of good positions, but oh well. Well, he's at least disoriented. Unfortunately, I can't do anything, but I can use cooperation on Axiom. Hey, you got this. Yeah, just go for the subdue on the python. Subdue the target. All right, it's his turn. Uh, why can I not reload? Like, seriously, why? Oh, right, burning. Do anything about that? Well, actually, no, that's a running gun. Making waves. Yeah, there it goes again. I can still fight. Oh, you fool. Next time ain't for my head. Oh wait. Didn't matter because um Maxi was burning, I guess he didn't get to do the counterattack. I don't know. Stupor the purifier. Your thoughts are mine. And take out the cobra. Hostile pacifier. How did you manage that? It's up and yep. Still on my feet. You are still up. Good. Uh, heal Axiom. Gremlin on the way. And how much else I can do except reload. Fed my weapon. Right. Reload. Uh, nope, only 14% chance. Okay, these last parts could have been going better, but oh well. Cherub, I think I need you to heal. I'm okay for now. Really need they you think to heal. You an appealing target. Ah shit. Hostile's gone. Well, shit. Actually, not what I wanted. Uh, Plus 25 aim, 3 mobility, harder to hit. I think we're gonna put Cherub there and move that up to first. Because he needs the reduced damage. Plus 3 mobility, I'll probably put Axiom on that. Merge here and terminal on here. Stay behind me. Follow me. There's 
some reason, I still can't order anyone to surrender. Okay, I'm gonna phalanx all this. The Ronins. Oof, haven't seen them in a long time. Torian up there. I don't know why Order to Surrender isn't showing up, because I have it installed and mods are working. sucks, because it would have been great to be able to order some of the more powerful units here to surrender. XCOM, lay down your arms. It's Chimera Squad. And screw you for all you've done, pal. All I've done? I've reminded this city what it needs to survive. You don't know what you're talking about. The Elders will return. We can only defeat them by tearing the weakness from our hearts. Was that why you killed the mayor? A handful of casualties today, or a whole world tomorrow. It's an easy choice. Are we really gonna listen to this asshole? Or can I just paint the walls with his entrails? You won't acknowledge the stakes? Fine. Shrike, destroy them! Oh, boy. Another capture Sovereign to stop reinforcements. Yeah, that's something I really need to do. Okay. Supercharge. This is what I've been saving it. Then, let's go for a fanfire on Sovereign. And he's... Of course he has a sustain. Turtling! Well, that's fine. Means I took care of it right no away. No permanent damage. The thralls? I'm not too worried about. Honestly, these guys are cannon fodder. They'll go down easy. I can still fight. Don't let it get infected. Okay, I definitely need to hit up second win for this. Everyone up. A little bit wasted on Axiom, but so be it. Not long now. You're dead! Idiot. Okay, Verge. Can you get a stupor off on Sovereign? If you could have, then I would have uh, been able to just hit him with a. Uh, uh, Mind play afterwards. Oh, he's got that going on. Well, at the very least, I can stupor the Praetorian. Good. He's stunned for the duration of his turn. Fortunately, there's another Praetorian coming up right behind him. Uh, at the very least, I can weaken this Praetorian. Armor deflection. Idiot. Target kill. Incompetent. Man, these guys suck.
Well, it's gonna put Axiom in danger, but... Let's capture the son of a bitch, so he can pay for his crimes. Please, keep wasting your effort. Stop wiggling, you're caught. Ugh, I'm leaking everywhere. I Let do like the quiet, fire. like, uh, music that's slowly ascending, in a way. Like the, uh... Oh God, what's the word I'm looking for? Oh, I know it's there. Don't you just hate that when you, uh... know the word, but you can't quite remember it? It. triumphant music that's kind of rising. Eh, uh, not quite sure how to phrase it. Anyways, we've taken down Shrike, captured him even. Now we need to start taking out his flunky. And yes, I'm aware of the deflection, but that's fine. That takes out the thrall, and I still have an extra shot to take her out with. Though I still got that's two targets with one hit. Well, with one agent. I am hit, but still standing. I actually remember You're when I up. when I first played through this, uh, I had order to surrender available for this, and holy hell was it overpowered at this point, because basically even on aggressive enemies, uh, I was still able to force them to surrender. It, it was kind of ridiculous. Like, I was able to, I think, with all my agents, make both Praetorians and both Sorcerers surrender. Which basically took out all their most Better powerful enemies, or, uh, uh, powerful allies. Take that. He's probably gonna go after Axiom because he's the closest target. You cannot stop us. Yep. We advance. All right. All that's left is this one sorcerer and it's one Ronin. Oh wait, two Ronins. Not like this. See one. Drop it. Oh, it's counting the same Ronin twice. Yeah, you know what? Let's puppeteer you this. Cannot escape. I think we only ever used this once. Unable to gain control. What are you talking about? You gained control. Armor soften the blow. You know what? That's fine At with least me. You didn't miss. Hmm. Tempo surge. Ron receives two extra turns in the timeline. Yeah, that makes sense. Melee stance. Ron takes a free hit at targets that enter melee range. Rooting slash applies rooted effect. The weapon disable effect. And applies ruptured. Well. That should be that. Yep. Atlas defeated. Atlas is no more. Better yet, you captured all kinds of intel on their plans and operations, including the death of Mayor Nightingale. City 31 can rest easy tonight. Now, get back to base. The director has authorized some much-needed R&R. Amen. Okay, the final battle wasn't as bad as I thought it was. I mean, if I hadn't taken down Shrike as quickly as I had, it probably would have been worse with, you know, with, you know, reinforcements coming in, but... Wasn't too bad. And also because I saved the supercharge and the second win for that. Mission agency one month later. Chimera Squad. The director has arrived. At ease. One month ago, you were understaffed, outgunned, and in temporary housing. Hey, the place had character. And rats. Don't forget the rats. 
Now, the entire squad is here with the latest and greatest from XCOM HQ. City 31 is in good hands. Hostage situation in Old Town. We'll need all hands for this one. Chimera Squad, form up and load in. I'm sorry for interrupting. You made my point. Go on, do your jobs. Reclamation is entrenched. Our assets burn. We have no options. The battle for City 31 is lost. But XCOM doesn't realize they're already at war. And when they do? It will be too late. Sequel baiting for the next game, eh? Kind of hoping they would take it off, uh, you know, uh, off planet, but hey. Difficulty normal, date 525 2040. Missions 1, 55. Flash missions 8. Kills 297. Captures 457. 5 agent scars, 8 max ranked agents, and 85 campaign days. I gotta say, I I do really like Chimera Squad. I mean, I get some of why some people might not have liked it because of the whole, oh, you lose an operative, well, game over. Well, not strictly game over, but you have to restart the encounter at the very least. Unless you're playing Iron Man. Oh well. Uh, but I, what I do like about having, uh, like, actual characters instead of just soldiers that you throw at the enemy is that... They have personality. Like, those conversations between each other were funny. Uh, I know for a fact in my original playthrough, there's one of Zephyr, uh, where Terminal is trying to get her to say Jabberwocky because she's got an Australian accent. She just wants to hear her say it. <laughs> it's funny. Uh, and all the agents, they were great. I mean, some I used a lot more than others. I think you know who. Uh, I do like the whole timeline mechanic because it forces you to think more strategically than it would in, than you would in previous XCOM games. Don't get me wrong, there's still strategic thinking, but it's like you get your turn, they get their turn. In this case, it's interspersed. It's like, okay, I know this guy's going next. Can I do something to prevent his turn? Either stunning him or outright taking him out of the fight permanently. Things like that, and I just really enjoyed that. I'm hoping it's something they'll keep for the next XCOM game, whenever that comes out. And I'm interested to see who the new enemy is. If it's not the Elders, then it's obviously somebody internal on planet Earth. Like I said, I was hoping they'd finally take it off of Earth for the third game. Technically, fourth game. Uh, but, yeah, you can't always get what you want. It's up to the developers to decide on that one. Uh, other than that... Not a whole lot to say. Wasn't expecting to finish it this week, but I do already have my next secondary series planned out. Already got audio testing done for it. I'm hoping it'll be good, but, you know, won't know until we get it recorded and get some videos up there. Ah, uh, beyond that... Not too much else to say. It's XCOM. Anybody who's taken a look at the playlist on the channel know that I play a lot of XCOM. Matter of fact, XCOM 2 is actually my very first series. There was Long War 2, there was War of the Chosen, there was the Tactical Legacy Pack. Maybe someday I'll actually go back and do XCOM Enemy Within. Maybe even do the Long War version of that. Who knows? But uh, that's something for another time. Uh, beyond that, not too much else to say. Uh, if you guys like what you saw with this series, please leave a like, subscribe for future content, don't forget to hit that bell icon to get notifications for when I upload, or to hit the straw pulling to vote for our next Let's Play. And please, leave a comment down below this video. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching.